Update two on Cyclone Francis, which is intensifying in the Timor Sea. It's a tropical storm with winds of 65 miles per hour and a pressure of 990 millibars. Category two on the Australian cyclone scale. At 3 a.m. UTC on April 28th, it was located at 11.7 degrees south, 126 degrees east, and a cyclone warning is in effect for a small part of the coast of Western Australia, even though it is quite some distance offshore. Um, over the next 24 hours, however, it could develop even more early Australia. Bureau of Meteorology is saying that it will reach Category 3 on the Australian scale, Category 1 on the Saffir Simpson scale, and then weakening thereafter uh, to around 72 hours, where we expect by that point there it will be a weak tropical storm. At the moment, it's 194 miles southeast of Kupang City, Indonesia. You can see on the left-hand side there, 295 miles north-northwest of Wyndham and 417 miles north-northeast of Derby in Western Australia. It's a stage two storm on the CDPS scale, owing mainly to its pretty small wind field, uh, less so than the actual wind speed, which is getting towards hurricane strength. And over the next few days, we do expect it will reach hurricane strength, in particular over the next 24 hours into Friday night local time, Saturday morning, uh, we expect that it will reach Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, Category 3 on the Australian scale, then it moves off towards the west. We don't expect uh, that its um, tropical storm force winds will reach any land areas, at least in Western Australia. So, look at the sea surface temperatures, pretty warm. There's the warning area, by the way, at the bottom, Kalamburu to Curie Bay, a small part of the Kimberley coast there. Um, but the sea surface temperatures around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius, so certainly warm enough. Uh, this wind shear graphic is slightly out of date, but as you can see, the storm is entering pretty uh, good conditions for wind shear at least in the next two or three days uh, before it begins to really increase as it heads off towards the Indian Ocean proper. Um, and here are the latest visible frames. You can see possibly the beginnings of an eye beginning, beginning to form there. And then the eastern side of the system is looking pretty good. A potential eye wall forming. Um, the northern side is really blowing up with the convection. They're just about reaching uh, Indonesia and East Timor. Um, and as far as Australia is concerned, there's uh, one or two little pockets of thunderstorms there uh, moving over. Mainly Tiwi Island there at the North Australian's top end. The actual mainland, it doesn't look like too much is getting there. Uh, but the main effects in terms of rainfall, I expect, will be being felt on the Indonesian uh, part of the island of Timor. Elsewhere, we've got this mess. It's the remnants of Muifa, which is still blowing up with some convection off to the southeastern side of the storm. But as you can see, it's got a uh, naked circulation, you could say. It's exposed and it's moving off towards what appears to be the northeast now. Um, and we expect it certainly does not have tropical storm force winds. ASCAT confirmed that over 12 hours ago. Another pass from ASCAT satellite is expected within the hour. Uh, but unfortunately the update will be out by the time that the information comes in so uh, we'll keep you in suspense on that but i don't expect it will have tropical storm force winds 2017 compared then here we are two tropical depressions 11 tropical storms two category ones that's on the Sappho simpson scale and one of every category beyond that's how it compares to 1960 to 2016, the average there. Uh, still a long way to go this year so far. And that brings our total tropical storm count up to 18 for 2017. Uh, not too far away from 31 set by 1900 and lots of years a long time ago there near the bottom of that table. Uh, the average for a typical year, since 1960 at least, has been around 90.5. You can follow Force 13's outlets to website force13.com and its tracker at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already. And subscribe if you haven't. Also, we're on Facebook, search Force 13 and you can contact us there as you can on Twitter. It's at Force 13, the handle all in text. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, F00013, and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.